Hello, welcome to week three, unit four, safe dictionary access. We've seen in the previous unit that accessing a dictionary using a non-existing key results in a key error. That is, the program is aborted or interrupted. That's quite similar to what we've seen or learned for lists when we try to access a list with an index that's out of the range of possible list elements. So, similar to lists, we can also use the in keyword to check if a certain element is present in our dictionary. Again, we will use the syntax x element or key in dictionary to check if x, the key, is present. This will return true if the key is available and false if it's not available. And using this approach, we can now access dictionaries only using keys that are also available. So, showtime, let's have a look at our Jupyter Notebook and see how we can safely access dictionaries. So, here we are in the Jupyter Notebook. Let's first try to force one of these key errors again. I have a dictionary here which contains two people, one with the identifier 1234, one with the identifier 2345. I access it with a correct key and I get the result Peter back. And if I try to access this dictionary using the key 3456, I get an error. So, how do we perform? safe access to dictionaries. We can use the in keyword to check if an element or if a key is present in the dictionary or not. And this is what I've shown in the following example. I have here a complex dictionary containing lots of students. So these are different characters from Harry Potter. We have Harry Potter, we have Ron Weasley and so on. And you might have noticed that the values in this dictionary are tuples, so again, a complex data structure. And what, we might, and what we now try to do is we try to read this dictionary using the student identification number or matriculation number. And depending if the student is present, we want to print the student information, otherwise we want to print the information that this matriculation number does not exist. And how we do this? We use the in keyword to check if a certain key is available in our dictionary. So let's give this a try. I execute the program and first I enter the matriculation number of Harry Potter which is 477264 and of course we get the information of Harry Potter, the student you are looking for is Potter Harry with his email address and the courses he has enrolled. Let's give it a second try. We now try a key that's not present, for example, a lot of ones. And in this case, we get no error message, but instead the information that this matriculation number is not present. Why is this the case? Here we check if the matriculation number is present in the list of keys of the dictionary for the number 11111. This statement returns false and consequently the else part of this if statement is executed. In that way, we can use the in statement or the in keyword to perform a safe dictionary access. There is at least one additional approach to do this. The additional approach is using the get method of a dictionary. The get method takes two arguments. It takes a key and a default value. So, and what does the get method do? The get method checks if the key is present in the dictionary. If this is the case, the corresponding value is returned. If the key is not present, a default value is returned. 
Let's try this out. I've written a small program again using this get method on dictionaries. We ask the user for a matriculation number. And then we use the get method to access the dictionary. And the default value in our case would be no matching student found for this matriculation number. So we don't get an error, but we get a different value back and then we can use this value to uh, print the result of our small program. Let's give this a try. First, I want to look up one of the available matriculation numbers. Let's use that one. Everything works as before for this matriculation number. The dictionary get method returns Thomas Dean um, with his email address and so on. And now try this with something which isn't present, so all the ones. And here we get the result, no matching student found for this matriculation number, which is of course the default value we provided up here. I said there are at least two approaches. Um, there's an additional approach using a default dictionary, but for that we would need to learn about importing libraries first, and this is a topic for a later unit. So let's switch back to our slides. What have you learned in this unit? You have learned how to prevent errors when accessing dictionaries. I have shown you two approaches to securely access a dictionary by either using the in keyword or by using the get method. Thanks for watching and see you in one of the upcoming units.